All right, there's no shortage of things to do here, uh, but for a moment, we're actually gonna work backwards and take some things apart. I'm just not necessarily take them apart. I'm just gonna cut some big holes in my plane. Oh, and I have some help to do it. So back when I was securing the baggage floors, I noted that I might want an access panel down there. And then I said, I don't think so. I think I can squeeze all of my wiring through on the existing conduits. And I was wrong. Yeah. Does that mean we have to drill out rivets, you think? Uh, I was talking to the camera. Oh, oh, shit. sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so I went and I designed some access panels. I put on my plane designer hat. It's not as hard as Hans makes it out to be. Um, and I created some doublers and some access panels. And now I'm going to see if I can retroactively drill them in to the baggage force. Uh, it's going to take a lot more doing than if I had done this from the forefront, but I still think I can figure it out and come up with a pretty clean solution. So let's give it a whirl. The panels were designed by me, cut by Send Cut Send. These parts are laser cut, be aware. Um, and I know that's a sore topic for many, including myself. However, they look nice, uh, unlike some other laser cut parts we've seen. Um, they have some decent selection of different alloys and, and tempers of aluminum. It's probably not exactly what would be needed, but these are non-structural parts, so I think we're fine there. Uh, the fabrication is, is absolutely incredible, and it comes with candy, and I like that. I'm going to start this one off with how all good projects start. One of the biggest tools in the shop, the hot glue gun. And not just any hot glue gun. This is like this is the baddest of the bad, man. <laughs> I think this came from Dollar Tree before they raised their prices. Before you comment, yes, I, I think the whole saw also came from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> you need to get at least a new mango. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. That thing's gonna come over for you. I think this one works better if I walk everybody through it. The last thing I want to do here is cut a giant hole in my baggage floor only to find that the doubler doesn't fit. That popsicle stick thingamajig, that marks the baggage rib from the interior of the baggage floor up onto the floor of the baggage floor so that I know where that is. I can do it on the other side, however I need to make sure that the gauge, the feeler gauge there, is feeling the flange of that rib since it's pointed the other way, hence my scope. From there, I mark the screw holes of the doubler, and then I can align the hatch to those screw holes so that I know exactly where I need to cut the hole for my hatch. Once I have that outline, I know that I just need to cut to the inside of that marker line and everything should fit perfect, in theory. Trying to make sure that this is well thought out, I'm not going to screw something up, is incredibly difficult. I don't want to like realize that I've lost my reference marks, something's misaligned, and I've got a big hole in my airplane.
So the hatch is finished. Uh, I actually ordered a new hatch itself uh, with some minor tweaks to, to prevent some of the oil canning I was seeing. It's a little bit thicker and the holes are spaced just a little bit differently. Maybe, just maybe, uh, designing an airplane is a little harder than I thought. It's still pretty straightforward. These, of course, are jokes. But speaking of Vance, I did talk to him about this modification um, with some general questions about the type of aluminum used, the thickness of aluminum used, the overall approach. Um, and of course, they're going to say that it's my airplane. I'm the manufacturer. I can do whatever the heck I want. And, and they're certainly not going to sign off on it, per se. They did uh, note that my reasoning was sound, my approach sound, uh, my methodology. Uh, and material usage, all really within spec for something like this application. For those of you wondering, w was this sanctioned? Well, not per se, um, but I I'm, I'm move forward with confidence uh, that I'm not going to have any long-standing issues from my placement um, or approach on this hatch. Am I going to do the other side? I might. Uh, it depends on how quickly I fill this up and, and the wiring looms that will run through it but I do have the parts for a second hatch should I decide to add one. It's a lot of work, so I'm only gonna do it if I absolutely need to. I wanna thank everybody for joining me on this episode uh, as we deconstruct a little bit, but ultimately move closer and closer towards wiring and systems in the RV7. Uh, go ahead and like it. I love the comments, keep them coming, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We'll catch you next time on Ryan Flies.